Hello everyone, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to FAQ to TV. It's another day in this beautiful new year and new month. Praise the Lord. Happy New Year in case I haven't said that or you haven't watched me this year. Happy New Year to all of you, my subscribers and everyone else who is watching. God bless you. So today I have a word, but you know, the word is just the how to possess the land and how to rebuild the wall. Amen. Praise God. If we remember, the Lord has been saying to us, this year is time to take over. It's time to possess the land. It's time to, you know, establish your throne, establish yourself, as, you know, begin to take over the areas and the things that he wants us to do. All right. And so I'm coming with a word today, a few tips for us on how to possess the land and how to rebuild the wall. Amen. Join me on the video today um, as we go forward and listen to the very quick tips on how we can do this. All right. Praise the Lord. But before we start, I just want to say a short word of prayer. Amen. Father, Lord, I just thank you, King of glory. I bless your name. Eternal Rock of Ages, I thank you for bringing us into the new year and bringing us into this, our season of manifestation, our season of restoration, our season of establishment and of takeover. King of glory, I pray that even as we proceed into this year and you begin to lead us, to guide us, to teach us and to show us the way we should go, Father, that each one of us will take possession of all that you have in store for us, that each one of us, even as we hearken diligently to your voice, we will be able, Heavenly Father, to come back at the end of it this year and to show and, and you know with evidence the things that we have begun to do, Father, that everyone will step into their place, into their position, into their land. Uh -huh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, have your way on this broadcast, Lord. Let this word penetrate each heart and let the words that come forth today be of your spirit and let it move in the hearts of your people to begin to do those things you would have them do in order to possess the land in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for these and more we've asked and prayed in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. My brother and sister, I just want to thank you once again. My name is Effa. Welcome to Effa Kitty TV and this is a word in season. Hallelujah. And so today, um, like I said, the word for today is how to possess the land and how to rebuild the wall. Hallelujah. Okay, right. So the Lord has been speaking to us, if we remember clearly, about possessing the land and about rebuilding the wall. All right, possessing the land and rebuilding the wall. And um, because of this, the Lord said, come out here and share with people how they will be able to do this this year. What are the things they need to do to help them possess the land and to help them rebuild the wall? All right. Praise God. And I have some very quick tips here that the Lord has given me to share with us on how we will possess the land and rebuild the wall. <laughs> Hallelujah. But before I go ahead, I wanted to just make this quick announcement um, um, for us, you know, if you watched my live or you, you know, watched the replay on, of my live broadcast, I, um, I said to us that the Lord had been leading me to lead us in intercession, in a short intercession once a week for this month of January, because God is saying this is also a season to stay prayed up to stay connected to him, to stay in his presence, to hear him, you know, just stay in prayer. And so God says we should um, pray together Thursdays, 1 p.m. just for a short time. It is not a regular live broadcast. This is just uh, a prayer and intercession. It will go on for about 20 to 25 minutes. That's it. It's just 20 to 25 minutes Thursdays. So we begin this Thursday, this Thursday, all right? Um, that's the 7th, Thursday the 7th at 1 p.m. I'll leave the announcements, you know, on this video as well as some other, you know, um, social media pages for us so that we'll know and realize, you know, that, that if you can join me then, please do. Okay, so let's get away <laughs> ahead with the video. <laughs> and so what do we do? How do we possess the land? Okay, one of the first things that the Lord led me to was the book of Joshua, because that's our, our text for this year, the book of Joshua. And God says, the first 
thing that you must do in order to possess the land is to have a relationship with him. God says, I need you to have a relationship with me. You cannot say that you want to possess the land that I am giving you, but you don't know me. You don't hear my voice. You don't know my voice. And we, we see that in the book of Joshua here, um, chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1, I'm going to read at the beginning. It says in chapter 1 verse 1, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua. Okay, Joshua could hear the voice of God because he had a relationship with God. Do you have a relationship with God? Ask yourself that question. Do you hear him? Do you know when he's instructing you or telling you what to do? The first thing you must do this year is grow your relationship with him. Get intimate with God. Get intimate with God. Okay, the next thing you must do this year in order to possess the land, your how, the next thing is to be bold. <laughs> put away fear, anxiety, put away dismay, put away those things. This is not the season or the time for it. And you know, anyone who is going through a fearful situation or you have just that spirit of fear has overcome you because of the enemy. I pray for you today that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord himself uh, will uh, help you overcome that fear. The Bible says he has not given us a spirit of fear. Second Timothy chapter one verse seven, I'll leave scriptures for us. He has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. My brother and sister, this year you need courage and you need confidence. That same Joshua chapter 1, the Lord told Joshua in verse 6, he says, Be strong and of good courage, for to these people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Be strong, be bold, be confident. That's what the Lord wants from you. That's what the Lord expects from you. Confidence in him. Okay. If we look at Nehemiah chapter two, because we're talking about two different things now, we're talking about possessing the land and rebuilding the world because God says, I'm going to use you, my people to rebuild, and I'm going to use you to possess. I'm going to use you to take take over, to have dominion. I'm going to use you to rule and reign. You will reign. But how do you do it? Okay, ask the Lord for the spirit of boldness, for courage and for confidence this year because you need it. Nehemiah, in the book of Nehemiah, if you remember, he, he got a report that the wall of Jerusalem had been torn down. It was all in ruins. And he made up his mind to go back and rebuild the wall. Because one of the words the Lord has given us this year, instructions is that he is going to use us to rebuild, to rebuild his house, to rebuild his church, to rebuild nations, to rebuild. And you know, you need confidence to do anything that the Lord has called you to do. In the book of Nehemiah chapter two, I'm going to read from verse 20. He says, so I answered them and I said to them, the God of heaven himself will prosper us. Therefore we, his servants will arise and build but you have no heritage or right or memorial in Jerusalem. All right. We will arise and build. Have confidence. Ask God for confidence this year. That's number two. Number three, what do you need? How? How do you possess the land? Know the word and meditate on it. There is nothing you can do and achieve in the kingdom apart from that word of God. The word of God is your sword. The word of God is your armor. The word of God is your light. It is your lamp. It is your directional. It is your instruction. The word of God is necessary for you to speak back to the enemy when he comes with doubt and fear, when he comes with lies. You need the word. Brother and sister, hold on to the word this year. And I'll leave scriptures for that. We see that in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 when the Bible says this word of the Lord shall not depart from, from your mouth but you know but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you will do even as it has instructed you. I'll leave that scripture for us as well. Praise God. And um, the next thing you must do, number four, that to pos in order to possess the land is you must discern your helpers. Know who your helpers are. Because one of the promises God gave us, if we remember, is that he was bringing collaborations, he was bringing connections, he was bringing help our way. But if you don't know your helper, you might miss your helper. If you don't know your helper, you might walk even against your helper. You, or, you, or make your helper work against you. Do you understand? Now, um, and that we see in the book of Joshua chapter 1, verse 12 to 15, it says that certain tribes... Um, uh, um, of the Israelites had already possessed their own land. 
certain tribes had already possessed their own land. And the Lord, the, the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half tribe of Manasseh. But the Lord still told them, you know, leave your land that you have possessed. Come along with the rest of the tribes of Israel and help them possess their own land first. They needed help. My brother and sister, we can't go this way, this road, this path of rebuilding this path of possessing alone. You're going to need help, but you need to discern who your helpers are. Rahab was one of the helpers of, of um, the children of Israel. She hid them, but she was a prostitute, but the Lord still used her. This year, know your helpers. This year, discern who your helpers are uh -huh, and connect with them. Nehemiah, in the book of Nehemiah chapter 1, he knew his helper was the king. He knew his helper was the king. And he asked God for favor to give him utterance and favor before the king. And he spoke and asked favor of the king. And the king granted him that favor. Know your helpers. And the next thing we must do is do your homework. Do your homework. Do your research. Do your findings. Eh? And I want to come down and be practical now to our level. You know, God has said to us that this year is a season and a time for the creatives, for those in the arts, those of us who, um, you know, are uh, uh, creators, influencers, things like that. God has says he's shifting people around. He's giving people jobs. He's doing things like that. Are you ready for it? Have you done your research concerning that field or that area that you want to go into? Joshua sent spies to the land. Nehemiah went and viewed the wall. I'll leave scriptures for us. I don't want to waste time in this video. Okay, Nehemiah said at night, he went and he viewed the wall. He wanted to see what it was about. What exactly is this damage? Joshua sent spies to the land. Let's see the place we're going to take over. That field, that business, that thing that the Lord has called you to, have you done your research into it? Have you started looking into it, working on it? Have you picked up that business? And that brings me to this beautiful t-shirt that I am wearing today because the Lord told me when I was getting ready for this video, he said, put this t-shirt on. And this t-shirt, it says, social media is my pulpit, okay? Social media is my pulpit. Is this t-shirt was done by one of my fellow Christian YouTubers, Ronesha Space. I'm going to leave the link to her channel. She took a bold step last year, late last year. The Lord instructed her. She listened to those instructions and she went ahead and, you know, got her own um, branding for this. Social media is my pulpit. She has a business. I'll leave links to both her YouTube channel and also links to where you could get purchase. She has a lot of beautiful merchandise, t-shirts, mugs, things like that, jackets. You can get them on her thing. This is this was done by her, a Christian YouTuber. So when God asks you to step ahead, step out in faith, do your homework first. My sister did her homework and she has started what the Lord has called her to do. Now, my brother and sister, coming down, like I said, being practical, are you ready? Are you ready to step out in faith and do what he has asked you to do? Amen. Step out in faith. Another thing that we need, another thing that we need this year to help us to possess the land and to rebuild the wall is to stay devoted and in his presence. Consecrate yourself to him. Sanctify yourself unto him. Stay in his presence. Stick with him. There's nothing you can do except you are in Christ. And except you have promised yourself that you will maintain that relationship with God. Stay in the presence of the Lord. Stay the way. Don't deviate. Don't look to the left or to the right. Don't open the door for sin. All right? God is just saying to tell us, I need you to stay with me. Okay, so my brother and sister, please, this year, the how, that's what we're talking about. We've been talking about possess the land. It's the year to take over. It's the year to enter your promise. But how do you enter? And these are the tips that the Lord is giving us. And I'm going to run over them very quickly. And then while I run over, I'll now give us the final one. The first one was to develop a relationship. Make sure you have a relationship with God. Next is to have boldness, courage, confidence. Ask the Lord to give you confidence. The next thing is to know the word, meditate on it and 
stay in it. Hallelujah. Next, discern your helpers. Discern your mentors. Discern those who you need to, who, to help you. Okay? Nehemiah, in the book of Nehemiah, discerned his helper. Joshua knew his helpers. Know your helpers. All right? Number five, do your homework. Do your research. All that you need to do to possess that territory that the Lord is giving you. Is it a career? Is it a business? Is it a home? Is it a land? Do the, speci- the, the necessary work that you need to do in order to have your information at hand ready. Okay? The next thing is to keep in devotion. Stay committed. Stay in His presence. Don't depart from the Lord. Don't depart from Him. And finally, receive your instructions and obey them. Obey them. Joshua was told what to do. Joshua was told what to do. March around seven times. March around for seven days. Shout at the seventh time. He did exactly what he was told to do. Brother and sister, I put this question to you. Are you ready to possess the land? Are you ready to take over this year? Are you ready to do that, to to handle that which the Lord has called you to handle? Are you ready to start that business? Are you ready to take over that career? Are you ready to transition into that new career? Because some people will move from one completely different field to another. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Praise the Lord. And one thing that Joshua and Nehemiah had in common was they had this close relationship with God and they continually sought him. They continually sought him and they obeyed him. My brother and sister, I want to close with this broadcast by just telling us this. This year, we need to have confidence, courage, and boldness. We need to rise up and do exactly what the Lord will have us do. Because let me tell you something, God is not a man that he should lie. If he has said this year, I am changing things, this year he is changing things. This year he is turning things around. This year he is giving us a new name. This year he is settling us, establishing us in the land, in the positions, in the place in the places, in the, in the businesses, in the careers, whatever it is he has said he will do, he is doing it this year. But we need to rise up and follow these tips and any other thing that the Lord will tell you as you come close to him. Follow those tips, obey them, and walk in to possess your promise. I pray that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we all step and march into this year 2021, we will begin to see the manifestation of the power and the glory of God in our lives. We will begin to take possession of our land and of those places and of those things that the Lord has called us to take possession of and that nothing will stand in our way and nobody will stand in our way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, remember it is your season, it is your time, it is your day and your year. Amen. Praise the Lord. I give God all the praise and all the glory. I thank God for this word. I pray that this word touches us. This word, you know, reaches us and and helps us to begin to navigate in this year. And that as we prayerfully, you know, and, and devotedly, committedly go the path that the Lord wants us to go, just as Joshua and Nehemiah did, that we will possess our land in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And so, my brother and sister, I just want to thank you for watching this broadcast. Remember to um, check out this channel and check out my sister, her channel, as well as her her, um, link, the link to where we can purchase things like this. She has them so beautiful. It says, social media is my pulpit. She has some other very beautiful stuff. Please check that out as well. Also, I want to remind us about the prayer coming up on Thursday, this Thursday, 1 p.m., Eastern time. I'll put the times for the other time zones up for us. If you can join me, it's going to be short, 20 minutes or to 25 minutes. It's just intercession, intercession, just prayer because we're in that season of prayer. All right. Thank you so much. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to click the thumbs up, the like button, and also remember to share this video. This year, we are all marching forward to possess the land and to rebuild the wall as the Lord instructs us in Jesus name. Have a blessed day. God bless you all. Thank you for watching.